I'm Lari, and welcome to your 45-minute at-home push, pull, and abdominal workout. What you need today? Dumbbells. Whatever you have, grab them. For resistance reference, I have a pair of 5, 10, 15, and 20-pound dumbbells. I will always tell you what weight selection I am using. Just remember, you and I are different, so you may need to go heavier than what I am using in order to feel challenged or you may need to go lighter than me in order to keep good form. Find a weight selection that feels challenging for you while maintaining great form throughout. You will also need a mini band. Mine is very light and that is what I am recommending, a very light mini band because that mini band will be going around either your wrist or around your feet and we want some give to it. And lastly, you will need a mat and I definitely recommend having a towel and hydration around as well. Here's today's format. We have straight triceps. We perform each tricep twice. The first round, we go 75 seconds of a push exercise, immediately followed by 75 seconds of a pool exercise. We will then have 15 seconds to transition down to the mat, and we will have 60 seconds of an abdominal focus exercise. After round one is up, quick recovery before repeating it. However, we're going to cut the time to 45-45 for the push pull and exercise, and then 30 seconds for the abdominal exercise. Round one is a very long set, 75 seconds followed by 75 seconds of the pull exercise. So if needed, you can drop the weight selection mid-set, hit pause, or just rest pause. This is your workout, so I want you to make it your own. This workout is a strength focus exercise, so there is no jumping. It is not cardio focus. If your heart rate gets up, that means we're just pushing the weight. So take the tempo, slow and controlled, make that mind muscle connection, and really get the most out of every single rep today. Every exercise is timed as well, so you and I don't have to go at the same speed, same tempo. Again, control the weight. Don't let the weight control you. Don't go too quick to where we have to put other muscle groups into it, like our hips for say like bicep curls. So control the movement. Enough of me talking. Grab your weights. We're going to start with your mini band for our warm up block and let's get going. We begin your workout with overhead front raises with the mini band. So mini band above or below your watch right around the wrist, abduct and pulse into the band. As you pulse into the band, you're bringing your arms overhead and then you're bringing it right back down. This begins your workout. We go in three, two, and one let's go start to press into the band pressing into the band is really going to fire up the medial portion of your delts or outer portion of the delts and then as we bring it overhead we're really working the front portion of the delts or the anterior portion of the delts honor your range of motion so make sure that you keep the rib cage stacked over pelvis not only during this work this exercise before all of the exercises today we want to keep that core connection If we go outside of our range of motion, here's what's gonna happen. We have to go like that. The body's gonna find a way to get there. We lose that core connection and we put a lot of pressure in our low back. So remember, rib cage stacked over pelvis, honor your range of motion. Next up, we have a YTW. Arms will start in front in three, two, and one. Arms are long, make a Y with the mini band, bring it back, make a T with the mini band, hold the T, W, return. So it's Y, T, W, return. Y, T, W, return. Here's another view.
class three, two, and one. Bring it down to the mat. We have dead bugs. The band will stay around the wrists. Arms go up, neutral grip with the hands. Legs go up, opposite hand, opposite leg. Let's go. So opposite arm, opposite leg, reach it back. Bring it back to return. Keep the back pressed into the mat the entire time. This is a great exercise for our transverse abdominal muscle or that corset muscle that wraps all the way around the spine. Take it slow, take it controlled. Tell me what you thinking, give me what you drinking. You and me, we got something special, baby. You and me, you and me. I can think this was never meant to happen. You and me, you and me. I can't help it. Last three, two. And one. All right, on to round two. This is where we cut the time in half. We have 45 seconds of our overhead banded pulses, followed by our YTWs. 45 seconds per exercise. Let's go. YTWs in three, two, and one. Depending on the length of your arms, you may be taking the hands a little up here, or you may be tapping the mini band to the forehead. Both work well. Just remember to keep the rib cage stacked over the pelvis. Honor your range of motion. Last three, two, and one. Band of dead bugs. This exercise only 30 seconds, cutting the time in half. Neutral grip with the hands. That means palms face one another. Back, press it into the mat, keep that connection to the core. Opposite arm, opposite leg, exhale to bring it back together. Last three, two, and one. On to a new triset. We have a dumbbell circular press. I will be starting with five pound dumbbells. Make it light for this longer round. Again, you can go heavier than me. So start with a field goal position. We bring the elbows together and then we bring it up. So a little semi-circular press. Squeeze the lats down, use the delts to bring it up.
next step, we have a reverse fly in a hip hinge position. We'll flip it from neutral to pronated. I'll be maintaining these five pound weights, so palms face together. Long lever as we contract the rear delts. Bring it back, flip the grip. Pinkies lead, contract the rear delts, bring it down. Now let's smooth it out. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. Take it down to the mat for our abdominal exercise. This time, mini band around the laces. We have banded bicycles. So mini band going around the shoes. Top portion of the shoes. Here we go. Opposite elbow, opposite leg. And then just switch. Last three, two, and one. Ooh, all right, come on back up. We cut the time in half. I'm going to increase the weight selection on the second round to 10 pounds. Make sure your form is on lock if you increase the weight, but challenge yourself, see if you can do it. We won't know until we try. Reverse fly in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. Dumbbells down, banded bicycles. Take it down to your mat. Band goes around the laces, around your feet. Hands behind the head, opposite elbow, opposite knee.
last three, two, and one. All right, new tricep. We have a dumbbell four-way raise, and I'm using five pounds for round one, 75 seconds. This will target small muscle groups in the delts, medial, anterior portion. All right, we bring it out to the side. That's one. Bring it together, two. Bring it back out, three, four. Now smooth it out. Try not to let this happen. Try to prevent the shrug at the top. Control it. Go a little bit lighter, round one. Round two is where we really wanna push that weight. Next up, we have a hybrid upright row to a neutral grip bicep curl. I'll be switching my dumbbells out to 10 pounds in three, two, and one. All right, switch it out. Here we go, it's an upright row, but in a circular motion. Bring it down, neutral grip bicep curl. Hybrid upright row, neutral grip curl. Upper back. Biceps. Last three, two, and one. We have a kickstand reverse crunch left side. So the left ankle will go gently on the right knee. This is all in the lower abdominals. You can support the hands underneath the pelvis if you want to. Totally fine. Exhale to bring it in, control it on the way down. Exhale, control, control, control. Imagine the lower abs, the space in between, the bony part of the hips known as the ASIS joint. Imagine that bringing you up. It's not about how many reps you get in here, but how many quality reps you get in. Last three, two, and one. All right, round two. This time, <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Won't know until we try. I'm gonna try to increase to 10 pounds for these four-way raises. 45 seconds, that is it. We go in three, two, and one. Hybrid upright row, 
to curl us next in three, two, and one. I'm taking it up to 15s. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. All right, we have our kickstand reverse crunch, but this time we're making it a double crunch. So we're just adding to it the upper portion of the abdominal. So hands behind the head, kickstand, double crunch, left side still. Let's go. Exhale, control it down. Exhale, control it down. Keep the neck neutral. If you start hinging at the neck, you're gonna feel it in the neck. That's something that I hear a lot. So that's just something to bring awareness to, something that we start to do that we just don't notice. So just start to notice it and then it won't happen. Last three, two, and one, new tricep. We have a dumbbell neutral grip press to two tricep extensions. I will be using 10 pounds for round one. neutral grip with the hands we press it up two tricep extensions control it keep your page stacked over pelvis and then bring it down press it up two triceps Next up, we have a hip hinge row neutral grip position. We alternate, but we hold an isometric contraction. I'm going to take it to 15 pounds because we're working the lats. Keep your core tight, hips go back, row both up. Now we row left, we row right. So you're holding the contraction and the opposing dumbbell in your lats throughout. Last three, two, and one. We have a kickstand reverse crunch on the other side. So right side, gently place your right ankle on top of your left knee. Support the pelvis if needed. Exhale, shh. use the lower abdominals to bring it up. Hold, try to hold the contraction in the lower abs as you lower down. So contract more, hold it. Not the breath, just the engagement. Lower abs, draw you in. Hold that engagement as you lower. Exhale, inhale.
last three, two, and one. Round two, up next, I'll be trying out 15 pounds. We have this time just one neutral grip press, two, one, tricep extension. Let's go, press it up, triceps, bring it down. You can place the dumbbells together at the top, or you can have a little bit of separation. Either works great. Alternating row is next in three, two, and one. I'll be using 20s this round for round two. Hinge from the hips, core stays tight, row it up. Now we alternate. Last three, two, and one. Place those dumbbells down. Kick, stand, crunch, same side. This time we add the upper abdominals with it. So right ankle on top of left knee, hands go behind the head, upper and lower, neck stays neutral. Let's go. Last three, two, and one, new tricep. Dumbbell pronated press with an iso hold at the top. So this is what's gonna make it really hard is that isometric hold. I will be trying for 15 pound dumbbells. So we're here, field goal position. We press it up, control. Other side, press it up, control. Core staying active throughout. So you have a little bit of engagement in your core to help keep the rib cage stacked over pelvis because if it wasn't engaged, what will happen is something like that, a lot of that. So we wanna just keep alternating one at a time and we wanna keep the engagement in your core as well. Breathe through the engagement. It's not a lot, just a little bit, just enough. Supinated curl to supinated row is next. Three of each in three, two, and one. I'm gonna try for the same weight. So we have three supinated curls, control it. After three supinated curls, hinge from the hips. Now we have three supinated rows, elbows in tight. And you're just going to alternate, bounce back and forth. So three curls, core stays tight. Hinge those hips back, neutral spine, and we row. Use the lower body to bring you up, not the low back. Different view. Three curls. Hinge those hips back. We row, elbows in. Lower body brings you up, and we repeat.
Last three, two, and one. Wow. All right, down to the mat. One dumbbell. We have Russian twist. I'll be placing a 15 pound dumbbell on my chest. Neutral spine. Start to hinge it back. Keep tension in the abs. Now we twist right and left. You want more of a challenge, lean back a little bit more. You can also bring the feet up. You can twist a little bit more and take it like this. Just this will provide more tension in the abdominals because where's the, where's the resistance? It's right on top. If we bring it here, that's still hard. A little bit more obliques. What do you want out of it? Make it your own. Which one feels better to you? different strokes for different folks. There's no concrete right and wrong way. There's a way that feels best for you. And that's the way that you should do it. Stay with me. Come on. About five more seconds. Last three, two, and one. Wow. Okay. Round two. Let's see. <laughs> I'm eyeing those twenties. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Isometric hold at the top. Let's go. Curl to row in three, two, and one. Wow. All right, shake it out. We got this. recover all right i'm gonna stick with 15s for these russian twists even though it's only 30 seconds you can tap the dumbbell side to side or you can bring it on to the chest let's go Last three, two, and one. New tricep. We get to stay on our backs. We have a chest fly to tricep extension. I'll be using 10 pound dumbbells for round one. Neutral grip to start, long lever for the chest fly. So go around that beach ball, big stretch in the chest in the front of the delts, hug it in, and then hit those triceps. Back up, chest fly. In, triceps, bring it up.
Next up, we have a lap pullover. I will be switching these dumbbells out for one 15 pound dumbbell. Last three, two, and one. Set those dumbbells down. Grab the dumbbell like so, so we can get a little bit extra range of motion. Minimize the movement in the elbows. So bring it up, control it down. So I'm feeling a bigger stretch along the lat muscles. Notice how I have a soft bend in my elbow, but I'm not bending anymore, which wouldn't be wrong. That'll just hit a little bit more triceps. So now we're trying to target a different muscle group. Now you're welcome to stay right here, or you can start to add the lower abdominals into it. Extend the legs, bring it in. You can be straight, or you can keep a bend in it. You want a little bit more? Add the upper as well. Last three, two, and one to recover. Next up, we have a dumbbell iso crunch to a leg lower. So I'm gonna keep that 15 pound dumbbell in the hands, extend the legs long to start. Keep your neck neutral, bring it up, reach towards the toes, hold that crunch, legs lower, legs go up, and then we do it again. Reach, hold the isometric contraction in the upper abdominals as the lower abdominals start to work as well. Last three, two, and one. All right, round two is next. I'll be aiming for 15 pounds for the chest fly to triceps and then 20 pounds for the lats. Here we go. Let's do it. Lap pullover in three, two, and one. Switch out the dumbbells if you want. And then let's get to work. You can hold the lap pullover just like so, or you can start to add the reverse crunch or even make it a double crunch. Last three, two, and one. We have our ISO crunch to leg lower. Next, extend those legs. I'll be maintaining 20 pounds. We go in three, two, and one.
Last three, two, and one final tricep. Next, we have a body weight push up for our push exercise. We will be doing it off the knees for the slow eccentric, on the knees for the concentric. Elbows point back at about a 45 degree angle, so take it down for five, four, three, two, one. Knees down, press off. Knees come back off. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees down, press up. Now, if this is not attainable, then perform the entire exercise on the knees. And this is a long set, so even on the knees, you may need to rest pause because this one is tough. That's okay, just do what you are able to. And every time you come back to this, you will get better, you will get stronger, and you will improve. We just gotta keep pushing ourselves, not only physically, but mentally as well. Next up, we have a rolling plank with a dumbbell reverse fly. So I'll be using one 10 pound dumbbell to start. Oh, wow. So grab your dumbbell. All right. We come to our forearms. We come to a side plank position. Grab your dumbbell, add a reverse fly, set the dumbbell down, elbows down, flip it to the other side, reverse fly. And then you can start to smooth it out. Now, if needed, you can always set the bottom knee down and I'll show you what that will look like right here. And then you can start to build up to knees off the ground. That's just gonna work some more obliques. Last three, two, and one. All right, final abdominal focus exercise is a sprinter sit up, <laughs> body weight only. Okay, had trouble reading my writing right there. Here we go, this one is tough. We go all the way up, twist at the top, control, control, control down. Exhale, shh, bring it up. Control, control, control. Now, if you are unable to get to this, I want you to go back to body weight bicycles, which is what we did earlier, but just do it without the band. It is a struggle getting up and maybe you're only getting halfway up or a quarter of the way up. That is okay. You're trying, it's hard to get past that quarter quarter top range of motion right there. <sighs> Inhale right here, exhale, bring it up. Last three, two, and one. <laughs> you saw me right there. That was not, there's no acting involved in this. I can't act. I just work out. <laughs> it's a struggle bus. Okay. Here we go, body weight push-ups. Same thing, off the knees. Five, four, three, two, one, on the knees, press it up.
rolling plank with reverse fly. Let's get right to it. I'm using the same weight, 10 pounds. Last three, two, and one. Sprinter sit-ups, 30 seconds. Let's get to it. If needed, drop it to bicycle crunches. Here we go, 30 seconds, sprinter sit-ups in three, two, and one. on 10 more seconds final abdominal focus exercise and it's on to our back and core burnout in three two and one set that mini band around the wrist flip it to your belly we begin with banded supermans pause at the top 30 seconds per exercise in three two and one let's go palms face down press into the band pause at the top control it down Press into the band, pause at the top, control it down. So we're working your upper back. We're also working the lower part of your back, the back side of the core. Superman with a pull down is next. We just add to this movement. And three, two, and one. Hold the top, pull down, back up, return down. So Superman, pull it down, and then bring it back down. Behind the head pull downs, head goes down, just pull it apart. It is burning, come on, 10 more seconds. Then we have swimmers. And three, two, and one. Hold it up. Keep pressing into that band, don't lose slack, don't lose tension, you got this. Come on, final 10 seconds, then we have a 15 second hold. Hold in three, two, and one. Press into that band, go up one inch higher. Hold and squeeze. Press into the band, bring it up one inch higher. Press into the band, one inch higher. Press into the band, one inch higher, and hold. Last three, two, and one. We are done off to the side. All right, let's go ahead and stretch out our shoulders. We deserve it. Gentle stretch, just a gentle pulse right here, opening up the front of the delt and the chest. If this feels good, hang out right here. If you want a deeper stretch, bend at the elbow and then start to go back. Always ease into your stretches. They should not, you should feel good. They should not hurt. So if you get a signal to your brain saying like, ah, that's, that's too much. Come out of it, please ease into it. And when you're ready, take it to the other side. Think of yourself like a, a rubber band. You don't want to pull that rubber band too much. 
or else it, <laughs> it goes bye bye. Just, just gently, gently. And if you bent the elbow on the other side, do it this side, you may find that one side's tighter than the other. For me, it's my left. I find that my left shoulder kind of rounds forward throughout the day. Show it a little bit more, more love right here. Breathe into it. One more big deep inhale, and then come out of it. Bring the knees forward, tabletop position, three rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, look up, spine, tailbone curls up. Exhale, shh, round. Twice more. And last time. Neutral tabletop position, extend the right arm forward and twist towards left side. Single side to puppy pose, just start to pulse it. And hold once you find a position that feels good. For five, four, three, two, one, other side, left arm, extend it, rotate, spin towards the right, start to pulse it for five, four, three, two, hold the position, not the breath, keep breathing. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one, bilateral puppy pose, extend both arms, set the forehead down, and then if you can, you don't have to, Inch those elbows forward, you're getting a little bit more triceps. Hands behind the head. Release the arms long, quick stretches, because this was a quick workout. And bring it forward to a little upward dog. Rotate over to the left, kind of letting the right hip dip down. And rotate over to the other side. Oh, feels good. Big deep inhale. On the exhale, send those hips back, child's pose. Oh, we could stay here all day, but we're not because we have things to do. So bring it to a seated position. Whatever feels good to you. Inhale, arms reach up. On the exhale, hinge one elbow, take it to one side. Let's do the other side. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale, both arms down. Nice work today. As long as you tried your best, that is what matters most. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. Your love and support means the absolute world to me. So thank you so much for working out with me today. And if you wouldn't mind, share it. Share it with a friend that you think would enjoy it as well because this channel grows solely because of you and I appreciate it so, so, so much. I cannot thank you enough. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, tag me in your posts and stories. I love seeing it on IG at Laurie Midkiff. And most importantly, my friends, have an amazing rest of the day. You rock.